Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have uh, done the stage designing over here, or modeling. So let's continue with this creation of this chair and this table. So very first of all, for creation of this chairs, what we'll be doing over here is like, uh, we'll be using a line over here. So we have a line tool over here. Let's take a line over here. So first I'll just zoom it over here. Uh, I'll go over here. I'll take a line like this. I'll just drag this over here and I'll just press escape over here. So uh, let's zoom it over here. Let's go onto this line and let's go into this rendering enable in viewport and make it as uh, more of a rectangular stuff like this uh, we can just reduce it you can reduce this as you want you want to reduce it you can easily reduce it so let's go into this line uh, select this vertices and just uh, you know you can just push this over here accordingly over here so right click over here and let's convert to editable poly if you're done with this you can just convert it to editable poly so let's convert to editable poly so once you convert this editable poly so let's select this vertices press R and let's scale it so now if you see this over here so we can uh, make this as a individual element if you want so let's go into this uh, view over here that's your top view over here so let's zoom in zoom it over here uh, let's take a box over here take a box so after taking a box over here let's click over here uh, we'll increase its height first of all so I think definitely uh, this is not exactly a box we're going to assign a cloth over here on top of it so we can just set it according to this stuff so let's go into this right click on it and convert to editable poly so before converting into editable poly uh, okay so let's go into the vertices of this select this and let's uh, you know you can just scale a bit you can scale a bit so you can just scale it like this so we yeah. are going to go over here so let's go into the vertices and just push this up so select this over here let's take a plane over here so let's go into the top view uh, create a plane over here like this so after creating a plane over here so let's select this plane and let's increase its uh, width and height of the plane so if you increase its height and width of the plane like this you can just increase it more and more and just push this up and let's increase its uh, segments over here let's make it to 30 30 over here so we are going to do this over here like this uh, now what I'm going to do over here is like I'm going to go into this animation uh, mass effects cloth and let's give a mesh cloth let's say M cloth over here select this object animation mass effects rigid body and set this as a static rigid body so after selecting the static rigid body you can go down and select the shape as original for this box so select this plane animation mass effects simulation and you can just say as uh, play simulation okay so if the box is uh, this the plane is more bigger then you can just reduce it you can just reduce this stuff so let's press R and let's reduce this stuff So animation, mass effects, cloth and cloth. 
animation, mass effects, simulation, play simulation. Okay. Simulation, play simulation. Animation, mass effects, simulation, bake all objects. So let's bake this whole animation. Okay, animation, mass effects. Okay, let's stop this stuff over here. So again, mass effects, simulation, bake all objects. select this delete this mass effects cloth create M cloth animation mass effects simulation bake all objects so let's go over here Take a plane. Create M cloth. I think uh, you need to. Uh, save this file and let's reset this back Alright, uh, let's open that file again. So, animation mass effects. So, let's first delete this mass effects cloth M cloth mass effects simulation bake all objects okay so no issue what uh, we will be doing is like all right so we have this uh, animation we will just convert it to editable poly uh, we can just scale this if you want you can just scale this for the cloth stuff so we have some options over here that's your free form option so we can uh, use this strength option push and pull for this first uh, reduce the brush size over here so you can just reduce this brush size so just reduce this brush size and reduce the strength mm. so let's make it as 6 and reduce the 0 0.02 so you can uh, just push this press shift and make it normal
so you uh, have a shift option also you can use this shift option if you want you can use this option you can place this option for this stuff so actually this is a kind of a cloth if you see this you can use this uh, smooth option and push and pull and make it move back over here so uh now can just adjust it accordingly so just push this out so we can uh now can just adjust it accordingly so just push this out so we can uh, come out of this select this stuff and just push this in this manner so this would act like a, a cloth or something you can say this is a kind of a cloth so let's go into this vmh file and that's your stall so you can just check this out so just select this area so you can just select this over here so we can So let's go into the top view and let's rotate it to 90 degree over here. So we still need to make the tables. So let's go into the hierarchy. Go into the hierarchy, affect pivot only. And let's set the pivot point to the center of this. Press E. effect pivot only close it shift and rotate it so as many copies you want you can take n number of copies as you require it over here so so the table stuff is still remaining so we can uh, very first of all what we can do is like we can just uh, group this stuff let's group it over here so now select this effect pivot only push this over here so press shift and rotate it so as many copies you want you can take the copies and keep it in this way that's it all right so table is still left to be made over here so we can select all of this so we can just first freeze this because we'll just freeze this stuff select all of this and make a duplicate So we can just uh, select this whole stuff, subtract it and you can just duplicate the stuff as you want it. That's it. So let's unfreeze this stuff over here. Select this. Select this over here. Zoom it out and you can just push this like this. 
all right okay so let's save the file so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial